you both are also married to men who have, uh, I think, formidable mothers. Uh, would be a safe uh, way to put it. I wouldn't cross I, either one of them. Um, um, how do you think that Im influenced them, their mother? How does, how does oh, in my, in my husband's case, I mean, she was clearly the, the strongest influence in, the, in his life because her, his father was gone so much. Uh, she, she not only shaped his, his sturdiness, and by that I mean his grit and his demeanor, a large part of that comes from his mother, but also his, his, uh, or his, his the values, the way he approaches things. I mean, I, I think a lot of his straight talk attitude comes from his mother, and I love it. Uh, as you know, I don't know if you've ever met her, but she's, she's a pistol, and I love her to death. But I think, I think not only that, though, I think her perseverance as many, for many, many years being a single mother and having to raise the kids. I know the story she tells about driving cross country during World War II with her kids, you know, in, in, in a car with no air conditioning in the, you know, in the 40s. I can't imagine what that would be like. Mm -hmm. And doing it because she, it was the right thing to do because her husband was serving and they were serving. Mm -hmm. So I've learned a great deal about, about my family and certainly had my sons from her, uh, from, from her attitude towards service. That's and your mother-in-law? <laughs> I think George really likes women. And I think that happened because he, he liked his mother and he has a very close relationship with her as the oldest child he did. And, yeah. and uh, he was, she was just 18 or 19 when she had him. She's not that much older than we are. Yeah. Really. And, mm -hmm. and uh, uh, plus, I mean, a lot of the same things that uh, Cindy said, both our husbands are pretty out front and I think their mothers are too. Mm -hmm.